Most of you are probably aware of the recent Ava Chris Tyson allegations and accusations that have been going on recently in the past week or so. Uh, but for those of you who don't know what's going on, uh, there was a there is a person named Ava Chris Tyson who originally was a male uh, Chris Tyson who transgendered into transitioned into a, a female is known as Ava Chris Tyson now, and their Twitter is Ava Chris Tyson now. But basically, uh, Chris Tyson, Ava Chris Tyson is is Mr. Beast's childhood friend and been friends with them a long time and uh, they've been part of the Mr. Beast you know community and channel for quite uh, for quite a lot of years now uh, but recently uh, Ava Tyson has been accused of inappropriately messaging a minor about five or six years ago I think and uh, basically they were 20 at the time and the minor was 14 or 15 at the time is my understanding uh, which is not good at all that's I can't believe this is still happening like this is happening on a very frequent basis where uh, internet pers internet influencers and personalities and uh, celebrities, internet celebrities are getting called out for messaging minors uh, uh, very uh, a lot recently, which is very sad to be honest. And uh, the reason why I haven't made a video on this so far is because everybody's been making a video on it. Moist, critical. Um, I've seen Asmund Gold re react to this fi this drama. I've seen uh, um Umbaville make a video on it, and I've seen so many other creators make a video on it. So I just wanted to wait until I had some more clarity over the situation. Um, so I waited, and you know, there's been some developments actually in the past uh, two or yeah, one or two days. Uh, been some pretty big developments. But what I was waiting on the most was for Mr. Beast, uh, Jimmy, himself, to comment on the situation, which uh, there was finally a tweet sent out by Mr. Beast, his Twitter, uh, about a day ago, two days ago, three days ago, maybe. Um, but very, very recent, nonetheless. And I wanted to go over that today, as well as some other uh, tweets that have been sent out in, from Lava GS, Lava. Yes, uh, from Lava GS, who is the uh, minor in question here, who's actually 20 years old now. But when the instance occurred, uh, I believe they were 14 or 15. But some tweets have come out uh, today and yesterday uh, that I wanted to go over. So let's just get right into it. Let me start off by saying that what Ava Chris Tyson did is absolutely unacceptable. And there, it, by, it is by no means uh, acceptable to message a minor inappropriately and what you should do as as a you know a person who is over the age of 18 you should just stay clear of messaging anybody under the age of 18 is probably the best uh best course of action uh if you ask me anyway so uh here's the tweet from mr beast and i just wanted to read it with you guys it just came out uh my time 20 uh july 25th 2024 at 11 28 a.m this is japan time because i'm in japan but yeah, let's let's take a look. So Mr. Beast says, over the last few days, I've become aware of the serious allegations of Ava Tyson's behavior online, and I am disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable acts. During that time, I've been focused on hiring an independent third party to conduct a thorough investigation to ensure I have all the facts. That said, I've been enough online and taken immediate action. I've seen enough on, excuse me, I've seen enough online and taken immediate action to remove Ava from the company, my channel, and any association with Mr. Beast. I do not condone or support any of the inappropriate actions. I will allow the independent investigators the necessary time to conduct a comprehensive investigation and I will take any I would take any further action based on their findings. Now, uh, I think in terms of uh, a response from Mr. Beast on this situation, I think this was probably the best response he could have given uh, considering this situation. So I'm actually uh, happy that he's doing this and that he's getting a third party uh, to conduct an investigation. So basically, we don't we don't have any clear uh, confirmation on anything yet. Also, if you look at Ava Chris Tyson's Twitter, uh, they made a post uh, a day before Mr. Beast commented, which said, Basically, I would like to apologize for any of my past behavior or comments if if it hurt or offended anyone. It was not my intent. As seeing recent events, we've mutually decided it's best I permanently step away from all things Mr. Beast in social media to focus on my family and mental health. Now, this is a very stark contrast to what Mr. Beast says, actually. Uh, Ava Chris Tyson says that we, we've mutually decided it's best. 
and uh, I need to focus on my family mental health. And he's very sorry if it hurt or offended anybody. So basically, he did not directly confirm that he was grooming a minor uh, at the time, uh, which is not good. This is not, I don't believe this is a good apology. This is not even an apology at all, to be honest. Because he says, like, I apologize, I apologize if my comments or my actions offended any of anybody, which doesn't seem pretty genuine to me. Also, if you look at their Twitter and you scroll down, basically it's been nuked. It's been wiped. There is nothing beyond July 24th or prior to July 24th at all. It's just blank. It's been deleted. Everything's been deleted, which is very, very suspicious if you ask me. So as I said before, there is a very stark contrast between Chris Tyson, uh, Ava Chris Tyson's tweet and Mr. Beast's tweet that came out a day later. Uh, you know, Ava Chris Tyson said that it was mutual. It was mutual. On the other hand, Mr. Beast responds with, "Over the last few days, I've become aware of the serious allegations of the behavior of Ava Tyson, and I'm disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable acts." That is a huge stark. That is a big contrast. A clear contrast of uh, the way he feels compared to Ava Chris Tyson's tweet, in my opinion, if you ask me. And not only this, Lava, the, the Lava GS, the minor in question at the time, now 20 years old, but at the time was 14 to 15, uh, commented on Mr. Beast's uh, post here. He said, I commend Mr. Beast for taking this situation seriously and hiring a third party investigator while also taking the appropriate actions of cutting ties with Ava. While the allegations involving my name aren't true, I feel there is still a lot of allegations that deserve to, in, to investigate thoroughly. So I believe there is a typo here. I think he meant to say that they deserve to be investigated thoroughly. Uh, just to clear that up. So I don't, I, you know, I don't want to say. In, I, this is why I didn't want to make a video so far. But I, I just wanted to make a video because Mr. Beast sent out a tweet about it. But the reason why I didn't want to make a video because there's just not enough information in my opinion, to comment on this situ situation. But I, I'm kind of uh, pleased with the direction this is going. Uh, Mr. Beast is taking thorough action with third-party investigation, and uh, I'm sure we'll see something come up in the next week or so. Uh, maybe maybe it might take a little longer, or maybe Ava Chris Tyson will actually put out an apology. I don't know, but we'll see in the coming weeks uh, from now. Now onto a little bit different subject that I wanted to touch on and uh, today in this video, but I, I can't really say much in regards to this situation because I'm just not aware of the background at all. So I'm not I'm going to try not to comment much at all on this, but I wanted to bring it to light because Lava GS posted some tweets uh, in the span of 24 hours uh, that he posted a tweet for Mr. Uh, responding to Mr. Beast uh, Twitter but on a little bit of different subject. Basically, Lava just come out, came out and said, based on this recent screenshots and messages, I would like to say a statement about the Discord. So the Discord is uh, something that I'm not really familiar with, so I'm not going to comment on much. I'm just going to read the tweet here. But this was five or six years ago, and I thought I had a good memory of this situation, but I was wrong. After reading the chat logs, this stuff was inappropriate and wrong. I spoke based on my memory of the situation, and I still do not remember these conversations, but they definitely happened. These conversations should not have happened with the people at the age I was at at the time. I strongly condemn them. I still believe I am not a grooming victim, but these conversations should not have happened with me and any other minor in this discord. I was a minor in the situation and, and not the adult influencer who shouldn't have allowed this to happen. I did not see this wrong at the time. Okay, so that makes that makes a little bit more sense. Uh, now I'm glad he, you know, I, I'm glad he wrote a tweet about this. Uh, but basically, I'm not really sure what is going on in the Discord, but it seems like there's a lot more to this whole story, whether it be related to Ava Chris Tyson or not. Regardless, there's some uh, there's some weird things happening with this Discord and minors in the Discord and adults uh, messaging them inappropriately. And apparently, the Discord has been cleansed, if I'm not mistaken. Another tweet posted by Lava said, I appreciate everyone taking this tweet as me talking about everything I have stated about Ava Tyson. It is not. Okay. So apparently this whole thing about the Discord has nothing to do with Ava Tyson, according to Lava GS. But I wanted to bring it up anyway. Uh, this only this is only about the Discord logs and the reason I spoke on my memory being bad is have I th I have a thousand of conversations in the Discord. I did not speak to Ava 24-7, even before the Discord server. 
We spoke a few times a week, and that's why I'm able to remember what actually happened between me and her. I still believe the other allegations deserve to be investigated. I'm not defending the actions of Ava. He goes on to talk a little bit about the great cleansing of the Discord, which I'm not going to comment about because I have no idea what's going on. I'm just going to sound like a fucking idiot if I try to comment stuff. Uh, but basically, I just wanted to make a, I wanted to finally make a video on this whole uh, Ava Chris Tyson drama situation because Mr. Beast finally spoke out and uh, wrote a tweet and uh, we wanted to, I wanted to go over that with you guys today. Uh, I will probably make a follow-up video um, if we see any uh, evidence come up come to light from this third-party investigation that Mr. Beast is doing. Regardless of anything that's going on, it is completely inappropriate and unacceptable and illegal to message minors inappropriately. Bottom line, that's what it is. And besides Ava Chris Tyson, there's a whole other thing with this Discord going on where there's minors being messaged inappropriately on the server and it's being cleansed. Apparently because it's T you know against TOS and we 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 wanted to get a Discord partnership is what Lava GS was saying. So I you know I'm not gonna comment on, I'm just gonna stop. I'm gonna stop right there. I'm not gonna say anything further about the Discord because I don't want to sound like an idiot. I don't wanna take things out of context. Uh but yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to get you guys an update on this, and I will probably come out with another video soon when the uh, investigation results come out uh, from Mr. Beast. Uh, thank you guys for watching, uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye.